Let's try this problem. Can you see the board? It's kind of smudgy. Uh -huh. In a sealed one liter container, one mole of nitrogen gas reacts with three moles hydrogen gas to form 0 0.05 moles ammonia. What's the approximate K equilibrium of the reaction? Okay, so I think we got stuck on this problem, so we need to go over some of the tools that might be helpful here. The first tool that would be helpful is writing the chemical equation for the reaction that's happening. Let's find an empty place in your paper and write what's the actual chemical reaction that's happening. And now we need to balance this reaction. Did you already do that? Uh, no idea. Okay, so let's do that. This is the same reaction we've used in so many other examples today, that same uh, Haber reaction, uh, Haber process reaction. Okay, remember these important steps. You've got to write down the chemical equation, but then you've got to balance it. It's no good just to write down the equation. We've got to balance the equation. Okay, and then the next thing, yeah, a start change end table. Exactly, so let's make our start change end table. start change in table. How do we know that we have to, what's our uh, clue that we're going to have to uh, go through all that? Uh, 
uh, let's see. To just uh, putting in uh, older not in concentrations. I guess this is why. Remind me to come back to that later. That's a good question. Now we have to start trying to plug some numbers into that. By the way, now I can see this question is actually a little bit misleading or miswritten. Because remember that the standard equilibrium constant for this reaction, the default, would be in partial pressures. Mm -hmm. But we're not really given information about pressures here. We're given information that we can use to do concentrations. So they really should have said that they're asking us for the Kc. The person who wrote this question really meant to ask for the Kc, not the default K, which is in terms of partial pressures for a gas. So let's change the question so that we're specifically looking for the KC. Now we need to plug some numbers into our start change end table. So let's decide where to put each of these numbers. All right. Where should I put this three moles? In the uh, start column? Yeah. Now, um, what we really care about here is concentrations, not moles. We said in the past that we use these tables for moles, but they also work for molarities. They also work for concentrations. So let's change everything into molarities from the start. Um, we know that there's three moles of hydrogen gas. What's going to be the molarity of the hydrogen gas? Um, three over. You were saying? Uh, isn't it 3 over um, 1? Or yeah, which would be? 3. Yeah, so it would be the same numerical value. We haven't talked about molarity, but molarity is moles over liters. Well, here we have 3 moles over 1 liters. Since there's exactly 1 liter, the molarities will all be the same okay. as the moles in this case. But uh, we'll still be specific about that. So here we're putting in, remember that molarity is in capital M. So I'll write this as 3 capital M. So these, these start change in, change in tables work for moles or molarity. And oftentimes it's more convenient to work with molarity because equilibrium constants are in terms of molarity. They're not in terms of moles. I guess that should be for hydrogen. Oh, did I make a mistake? Thanks. Yeah, that so should be three molar. And one molar of nitrogen is the same thing. We have one liter. One mole of nitrogen. Yeah. By the way, it's pure coincidence that this number is the same as this number. They could be completely different. So we're just, uh, the reason I like thought about it for a second with the molarity is like, um, cause I guess what it, it's just assumed that it's all a uh, solution. I'm sorry? Is so it assumed that the one liter container is necessarily all a solution? Well, probably we shouldn't think of this as a solution necessarily cause it's just a bunch of gas. It's not, there's no liquid here. It's all gas. We just want to know how many moles of gas there are per liter of container. Um, what we have is a sealed container that contains a bunch of nitrogen gas and a bunch of hydrogen gas. Um, and the concentration of the nitrogen gas is uh, one mole in each liter of the container. I don't know if that answered your question. Yeah, I, yeah, I forgot what it was. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 